Well, it's not as chilly today as it was yesterday. Um, early start this morning uh, for me. I got home last night. I had a good sleep. I got home at 10 o'clock from, uh, from Pennsylvania. Uh, watch the end of the football game with my wife and uh, had a little sleep. Get up this morning at 6.15 uh, on my way to the barn. Now, now it was just brought to my attention. That, that's not true. I guess somewhere in my head I knew. We're not showing the sets live today for, for a couple of reasons. Curtis wants to show them all at once tomorrow. But I think Curtis really wants to get the lay of the land at um, uh, the lay of the land at First Line Training Center. If you haven't been there, you'll, you'll understand why, and you will certainly after you see the drone. In the middle of the, it's a, a rougher terrain, much rougher than Tomiko, and uh, a 5 8 mile track also. But in the middle of that track is a large mound of, uh, well, I guess it would have been earth before. It looks like just gravel now. Stone dust and soil and things are moving around, but there's no sight line from one side of the track to the other. So it's a little problematic, but also for flying the drone. Also for flying the drone, uh, no sight line means Curtis has to rely on his his pilot ability, which he's crashed too. So uh, no, Curtis does a great job, but he just wants to get the lay of the land, and he had asked to uh, show them in between the sets of tomorrow. Now the set's tomorrow. Still a chance of rain all night. It's supposed to stop raining at 9. If we have to push the start time of tomorrow at Northfield back to 9, then we will. Not a problem at all. But for right now, it still looks like we're on for about 8.30. I, I don't know what Kelly had said the time was that we were starting, but it'll likely be 8.30. So yesterday, great day uh, all around. Obviously starting off, I guess not starting off, but culminating with the, with the better news surrounding punch the clock um, obviously with the babies training yesterday Dustin uh, holding the tone and silent assassin everybody went well at Northfield although it was freezing cold cut in the car went over to to the meadows uh, a first and a second arches rainbow race good and I think there's room for improvement there so she's coming um, stay close on the right line you can see him throwing his head a little bit we're working with that it's so weird sometimes when you turn horses out and bring them back especially horses with low amounts of starts they change he's not the same stay close he might be and very likely is a better version of stay close but he's not the same stay close so cool cool in that regard <clears throat> cool in that regard uh, when it comes to the horse we'll get him squared away for next week and race him probably once more in there and then he can come back to Ontario we're going to race right over Bach at the Meadows next week in a lower class for two reasons one get him a little class relief and first and foremost get him in a lower purse class for one race so he can come back to Ontario and race in horses that raced for a purse of less than 9,000 in their last five starts gets five starts then so that's a great spot for us to start with those two horses Tonight we have a number, and Atlas Hanover raced yesterday last at the three-quarter pole. A closing fourth, just beat for third, closing in on the leaders, 53-2. and two. I thought the horse race fantastic. So we get racing today. We get the drone today. We have qualifiers today. Absolute Euphoria is qualifying today. So is uh, Gemstone Ruby Rose, and we're schooling my 1%. So a big day in that regard for us. Um drone tomorrow at Northfield Park. I'm going to take the kids over after school today. We're going to go over to uh, to Cleveland. Maybe have a birthday, a belated birthday dinner for me. Um, a place of my choosing. And then uh, and then just hang out. Do the do the live portion tomorrow for the horses. Uh, we do have some scratches tomorrow. Obviously, punch the clock is scratched here. Uh, we do have four or five scratches tomorrow, uh, just off the top of my head, Sully's Landing was a little colicky today, not yesterday, not not in any concern like uh, Punch was, but um, will he be ready tomorrow? I, I scratched him, uh, it's unlikely you'll see him show up, I scratched him, we'll see, um, and then when it comes to, when it comes to, uh, goodness, there's three or four of them, oh, a couple of horses got gelded, uh, Mounds for All got gelded, um, there's one other horse also. I'll bring you that list later on. But for now, we're going to get the day started. Pulling into the farm right now. Looking for an early 7.45 start. We'll talk to you all very soon. Take care.